testing labs, logistic infrastructure, and social infrastructure for housing, education, and health care. Even though the new government is only a few weeks old, the Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Minister for Industries and Commerce and IT, IT and ENC successfully led a delegation to the World Economic Forum annual meeting at Davos, Switzerland, and got a very positive response from industry leaders. Over 40,000 crores is new investment were announced addresses on the government's vision for healthcare and agriculture to the esteemed delegates during the conference. MOUs were signed in the areas of renewable energy, life sciences, man man manufacturing, data structuring, data, cent data centers, food processing, IT, etc. Digital adoption is happening at a rapid pace in our society today. Telangana state not only needs to fully benefit from digital opportunities, but also become a leader in the country for new technologies. One of the most significant forthcoming initiatives of my government would be to introduce the internet as the basic right. The focus will not just be just to just be to create digital infrastructure, but also to make it accessible and affordable to all sections of society. My government will implement a very thorough digital literacy program to ensure that every household, regardless of its economic status or location, will be able to benefit from the rapid digital adoption of opportunities that are arising. My government is determined to harness the power of new technology, particularly the artificial intelligence. We will position Hyderabad and Telangana as the AI capital of the country by inviting the top global and national technology comp companies to set up their AI centers. We will set up a dedicated AI city in 50 to 100 acres. With an inclusive approach and targeted planning, and execution, I am confident that my government will be able to fully unlock the potential that industries and services sectors offer to the people of Telangana. And I am also confident that the initial results will be visible within few months. My government has set skill training and vocational education as top priority. The address to address skill gaps and meet the requirements of industry 4, 4.0. My government is transferring all government IITs in the state into advanced technology centers and an estimated project cost of about rupees 2,000 crores. These centers will offer NCVT approved long-term and short-term courses in high demand trades and will benefit nearly 1 lakh youth of Telangana. Telangana has been meeting its energy needs predominantly through coal. In order to optimize the cost of power, meet the demand profile of the state, and increase the energy share of, from clean energy, the Telangana government will come up with a comprehensive energy policy to promote all types of green energy, that is solar, wind, hybrid, solar and wind, and we all store, and well, as well as storage, pumped or battery to meet peak requirement. The government aims to improve the share of green energy significantly and reduce carb carbon emission by 2030. As we gather here to discuss the future trajectory of our beloved state, it is imperative to highlight the immense tourism potential that Telangana possesses. Our state nestled the heart of India. is not only known for its rich history and vibrant culture, but also boasts a plethora of tourist attractions that can enhance visitors from far and wide. Telangana is a treasure trove of architectural marvels with historical monuments and structures that tell tales of Bayon era from the majestic Charminar, a symbol of Hydra a lifeline of Hyderabad and the entire urban landscape around it will be elevated. The project will have components of transport, networks, 
connecting the eastern and the western parts of the city, clean flowing water and the river front beautification, river front beautification. The Musi Riverfront project will create people's plazas, pedestrian zones, hawker areas, and green spaces all across the city. It will revitalize old heritage-rich parts of the city and make them more accessible. We are studying national and international model, models to onboard the best practices and teams to work on, the, work on this. The Musi, the Musi Riverfront Development Project seeks to drive ecological and economic transformation on a scale and in, and in a time frame that has not been attempted before. In our pursuit of a brighter and more prosperous Telangana, the government has recognized the pivotal role that employability and sports infrastructure play in shaping the future of our youth. Understanding the need for a skilled and empowered workforce, my government is committed to establishing skilled universities across the state. These skilled universities will serve as centers of excellence, equipping our youth with the necessary knowledge and expertise to meet the demands of the rapidly evolving job market. By focusing on skill development, we aim to bridge the gap between education and employment, ensuring that our youth are not just academically proficient, but also industry ready. Furthermore, acknowledging the importance of sports in fostering a healthy and vibrant society, the government is dedicated to enhancing sports infrastructure in Telangana. We believe that the physically active and sports oriented youth contribute not only to individual well-being, but also the overall development of the state. Plans are underway to establish state of art sports facilities, nurture local talent, and provide a platform for aspiring athletes to excel on national and international stages. Through these initiatives, we aim to create a condu conducive environment for sports enthusiasts and pave the way for Telangana to emerge as a powerhouse in the sporting arena. As we invest in the establishment of skilled universities and bolster sports infrastructure, we envision a Telangana where every young individual will be equipped with skills to thrive in the professional world and where sports become an integral part of our culture fabric. These endeavors align with our commitment to holistic development, ensuring that the youth of develop Telangana not only contribute to the economic growth of the state, but also lead 